is the US building up its hypersonic stockpile. US hypersonic programs got a boost from the latest defense reconciliation bill, where it allocated over $1.5 billion towards long-range missile development and advanced hypersonic testing capability, building the infrastructure needed to support scaled hypersonic production. Lockheed, Northrop Grumman, RTX, General Dynamics and Dynetics stand to benefit from the top hypersonic programs, potentially leading to over $50 billion in procurements over the next 5-10 to 10 years. Continued funding for these programs is expected, based on strong bipartisan support for hypersonic technology, as well as a continued focus on countering adversaries like Russia and China, who already have operational hypersonic programs. The Defense Department's hypersonics research, development, testing and evaluation budget is more than $6.9 billion for the fiscal year of 2025. US demand for the weapon system and the material to counter hypersonics is high, given Russia and China's offensive and air defense hypersonic technologies, meaning many conventional intercontinental ballistic missiles could be intercepted mid flight. Hypersonic's appeal is their ability to fly at around 4,000 miles an hour, exceeding Mach 5, greatly reducing response time to an attack. With a successful test in August, Lockheed Martin and Northrop Grumman are the closest to arming the US with hypersonic weapons, proven by the 2026 DoD procurement budget request for $387 million for the US Army's long-range hypersonic weapon, dubbed Dark Eagle. The Army requested an additional $538 million dollars for research, development, testing and evaluation in the fiscal year 2025, and $744.2 million for procurement as part of this build-up. Northrop Grumman, RTX and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries have contracts for about $890 billion to develop a countering system known as the Glide Phase Interceptor, with Lockheed Martin winning the next generation interceptor and Raytheon producing SM-3 and SM-6 missiles, the Defense Department has distributed hypersonic defense capabilities across prime contractors. Hopefully this gave some answers to 